Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today's video we're going to start with Chainlink, um, haven't done an update on this for a hot minute so let's have a look, uh, I did actually have some lines drawn on the chart where I had to refresh the page so I'm going to go ahead and draw those for you again anyway so I can show you exactly what I'm looking at with Chainlink as you can see right now it's around the $20 mark, okay, it's around the $20 mark uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to draw some trend lines and see exactly what we're looking at at the moment. So if we go from the beginning, okay, I wanted to kind of point out this area. Clearly a support and resistance area. Okay, we had resistance, resistance, okay, and then we have support and support. Okay, let's just adjust that a little bit. So we know that um, originally it broke out of that area, came down, failed to remain above it, and this uh, previous area became resistance, resistance, okay? And then once we got a break through that, we could see that it held a support, support, and support three times, all right? So we've got a clear, decisive break of that level. We definitely will want to see Chainlink come all the way down here, but that's obviously not going to happen, at least in the, in the, in the short term. Okay, so the next trend line I'm looking at is this one. This is the one we're looking at currently. Okay, and we are on the one day chart, by the way. So if we draw that like that, more or less, okay, we can see that this was the um, original uh, resistance line of the original uh, breakout. Okay, and then we see obviously this support line, this, this became support over here. We got a breakout of that level okay um obviously it's a little bit of resistance there it came down okay which is where we confirm this area as support for the first time it came up and found resistance again over at this level okay and then that support was confirmed for the third time uh or, or for the second time and then now obviously we have a decisive break outside of this uh what was previously resistance which should now hopefully become support Okay, so I wouldn't want to see Chainlink come down below this level, around $17, $18. Obviously, as time goes by, that price point rises. Um, but yeah, right about now, it does look good. Obviously, it's broken the previous all-time high. Okay, at, uh, what is it, $20. Okay, or it did break it. And I think it sat around $24. Okay, 23, just under $24. All right, right now, we are floating around the $20 level. And hopefully we can get a breakout and take out that previous high at around twenty-four dollars. And who knows where it could go to? Could we see? Could we see a thirty dollars? Could we see a forty-dollar chain link? Uh, waiting to see what will happen there. I think it's more than likely that we will get a breakout at this level. But like I said, if we do come down anywhere near here and we we break back below that level in back into this zone. I would expect that we're going to hang around in here for a little while and obviously it does depend on what Bitcoin does but you know if Bitcoin and we are on the USDT chart by the way okay if you compare Chainlink to Bitcoin it looks a bit uh, a little bit different okay let's just uh, quickly have a look I have a bias and I tend to focus on the uh, the charts that uh uh, the pairings that I like to do okay so obviously if you look on the Bitcoin pairing you can see that it has actually broken out okay um, it's obviously it's had this massive you know kind of pullback and obviously this is price comparison in comparison to Bitcoin but Chainlink does look like it's ready to make another move up um, um, against Bitcoin as well so that for me definitely confirms the you know the bullish aspect of what I'm looking at on the USDT chart all right guys so yeah, there's a logic behind that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about Chainlink. Definitely looking bullish on the Bitcoin chart and definitely looking bullish on the USDT chart in my opinion. Hopefully we can see a new all-time high shortly. Okay, one I just wanted to quickly let you know about was uh, Polkastar, okay, because I am looking at it, all right? Um, it's not one I'm looking at buying at the moment. Okay, but if it did come anywhere down near a dollar, I think that would be a good one. Of course, we have been looking at the polka dot coins uh, a little bit on the channel over the last few days and weeks. And um, yeah, I'm definitely looking more into the polka dot coins. And you know, I, I haven't actually, I don't actually own any polka dot, so that's something that I might 
have to consider as well um, in terms of diversification. Um, we're looking for Ethereum to kind of make, you know, his decisive move, see whether we can get more upside on that. Um, ultimately, I think I would like to diversify into coins like Polkadot because I believe in the long term potential for it. We've spoken about Polkadot before, obviously. Right now, we're talking a little bit about Polkastar. Uh, maybe, maybe in another video, we'll get more into Polkastar and why I think this is a good token. But you know, for the for, just for now, we say that I'm looking at this level around a dollar. Okay, um, you know, I might be wrong, but it might get a, a, a more of a breakout. But I see it's failing to come up at the moment, but we could get maybe like a double bottom in this area and then it moved to the upside. Okay, for me, I'll be looking at it breaking its previous high um, in terms of, you know, um, an area to get in on that. So we're just going to do a quick update on Fala, okay? Um, in the previous videos on Fala, obviously we were bullish on it, but um, what I did say is that I wouldn't be buying anywhere near this top, okay? Obviously I took profit. I, I, I said, you know, you, you want to be waiting for, you want to be waiting for a pullback, really, uh, before you buy into into it at this time. But uh, yeah, it does definitely look like it's got a little bit more downside. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but um. Let's just uh, increase the time frame. Okay, so we see it made that high over there. Now, uh, I'm always careful when I see a coin go up like so crazy in the first place, just out of nowhere. A lot of people, this wasn't on their radar before, and then obviously FOMO's kicked in. 338%, how much more will that go up in the short term? I'm not sure, you know, I would like to see it come down a, a lot further. Uh, before it did and that's just my personal opinion i believe in the long-term potential of it i like the privacy aspect of it uh we like like we said with poker star i like the fact that it's built on the polka dot platform yeah i think that there's there's some good there's some good potential for this token however right now i see it rounding off and um you know it could be uh could be in store for some more downside. It's, it's really testing these levels down at 26 cents. Um, obviously, if it comes anywhere down to like, you know, anywhere below like 25 cents or or below 22 cents, obviously it could be a deeper correction for this. And if we look at this in terms of support levels, you know, 17 cents maybe potentially uh, somewhere down that area, 15 cents. Right, so you know, sometimes the faster they go up, the faster they can come down. Um, it's a little bit untidy, but you know, could this be a head and shoulder pattern forming? And obviously, that is only on the one hour, okay? If we go on the one day, um, you know, this looks scary to me, okay? Gone up crazy, massively already. It could just go completely even parabolic from here, but um, yeah. I wouldn't uh, risk it at the moment. I'm more like to wait for a bit, bit more of the chart structure uh, before we uh, uh, got back into this one. But like I said, long-term bullish. At the end of the day, if you're going to put some money in and forget about it, then you know, uh, you know, it's not it's not really anything that you need to be be worrying about, to be honest. But yeah, I think that's about it for now, guys. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I did want to do a video a little bit earlier today because I didn't manage to get a video out yesterday. Um, but yeah, that's it for today.